Good evening. It's a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. It has snowed and sleet and rain. Woke up this morning and it was about 50 degrees outside, about 4.30 this morning. By the time I got done with morning bus duty at 7.45, it was like 30-ish, about 30 degrees outside, 30 to 32. It got cold quick. <laughs> and it's staying, it seems like it's hovered around the low 30s all day. And it started out raining. Then it sleeped. Then it snowed a little bit. Then go back to sleep. Then go back to snow. It's life in Tennessee. You can have three different seasons all in one. The wind has blowed really good today. I sat down today and started reading chapter 10 because it's December the 10th. And the first thing I was reading about was um, how the harvest was truly great, but the laborers are few. And I thought how well that goes with us being um, growing vegetables and fruits and just being people who garden and things like that. I got to thinking about today how much we wanted the snow to fall so we could go home early. But oh, alas, we did not. We made, managed to stay at school all day. Which, the wind was blowing, so it dried the pavement up. But my mind drifted back to the spring when I was reading it. And a lot of chapter 10 is about being a good person. Being a steward for Christ being a laborer in the kingdom of God. And I thought about all the things that Brett grew this summer. All the different vegetables, all the different fruits, and and it just seems like every day there was something else to get out of the garden. And his harvest was plentiful, and his labor was few. He didn't have a lot of people jumping on board to come pick the garden. He didn't have a lot of people in his house jumping on board to pick the garden. But the garden blessed, and it continued blessing, and it continued blessing. And the more he worked at it, and the more he tried to make it successful, the more God blessed it. And I say God blessed it because even when it was raining, and when it didn't rain, he still had vegetables. We still getting things out of the garden. All the way up... I, I think he's still even got some stuff out there in the greenhouse. Or, I call it the hot hut. It's about what you put into it. And later on down, the guy, uh, someone asked Jesus, how do you inherit eternal life? And he says that where he said, what does the law say? And he says, we are to love the Lord thy God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and our labor as ourself. And he asked him, how do you see that? How do you, what do you think about that? And the guy said, well, who's my neighbor? And Jesus can, proceeds to tell him about a Samaritan that was injured. And how, uh, a man who was injured that a Samaritan helped. And he says, then that's how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to help those, even when it's people that doesn't want to, or doesn't expect us to help them. Even when it's people who wouldn't normally treat us with respect. It's even when people make fun of you, you're still to help them in some way. And, I mean, in all of the things that God commands us to do is to love one another. Love your neighbor as yourself. And I find that sometimes can be the hardest. Loving those who are hateful and mad and angry at me. And being someone who they see Jesus through because they see the love of Christ in my life. Challenging. Very challenging. To love those who don't love us. But 
kind of sit beside my tree today. Because it is Christmas. It's the Christmas time of year. It's a time where we need to love each other and help each other and consider one another. I say it a lot. And it feels like this is just the way I close my videos, but it's not. When I say I believe in you, I do actually believe in you. Even though a lot of people that watch my videos, I don't know. A lot of people who watch me and Brett, who turn into Brett, Brett and Cindy's Tea and Living, we've never met. We only know as a subscriber who watched our video. But we choose to believe in everyone because no matter who you are, you're God's child. And that makes you special, that makes you unique, and that makes you worth being someone who's worthy of other people's respect and love. Because God chose you. I choose to believe in you. God bless.